Hello there. This is the family doctor. for two days now, and I can't stand another minute of it. Now, what's the trouble? Oh, Mama, I'm so unhappy. Mm, I can see that all right. Oh, oh Ella Mary. <laughs> Stop it. Now, quit your weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth long enough to tell your mother what's the matter. Well, it's, it's that old Faith Windsor. Old? She's not so old. She's a full year younger than you are. What's the matter with Faith Windsor? Well, she's been going out with Chick Harper. That young fellow down to May's drugstore? <laughs> <laughs> Don't think so much of him. After all, he just worked in the drugstore. I should think you could do a sight better than that. Well, I like him, that's all. I know I like him, but he don't like me. Hmm. Ah, well, your father was a court me. I never went on so about him. When I took a notion that he was a fellow I wanted to marry, I married him. I didn't notice that he made a bunch of objection. If you want to marry this Chuck Harper... Chick. Well, well, then, Chick. If you want to marry him, why don't you tell him so? Oh, Mama, you don't understand. Things are different nowadays. Different? Huh. Is that so? Young folks fall in love with each other, don't they? They get married, don't they? What's the difference about that? What's Faith Windsor got so much more than you? That's what I'd like to know. Money. Money? Huh. But your father's the richest grocer in Cedarton, ain't he? All Sam Windsor's got the bank. And a job to which the voters of Cedarton elected him to. Your father, me amongst them. But she's pretty, too. And Faith's got nice clothes. And she has her hair finger waved once a week. And she gets permanent every six months. And a facial every other week. Oh, hush. <laughs> Why, she ain't any better looking than you are, Ella Mary. And you know it. But Chick doesn't know it. Is that so? Hmm. Hmm. I've got an idea. What? What do you mean? So Faith Windsor gets nice clothes and permanence and finger waves and facials, does she? Yes. All right, then. So are you. You're going to get them, too. Well, what do you mean, Mama? Have you been reading in the Post Bugle how editor Amos Day is going to run this here beauty contest? Yes. And how the winner of it is going to play the lead in the first annual Cedarton Festival and historic pageant? Yes, of course. I know all about all that. All but... right, then. You're going to enter that contest. And what's more, you're going to win it. Oh, Mama. Come on. We're going downtown right now. We're going first to Maddie Clark and get you some new dresses, and then we're going to the Daisy May Beauty Saloon and get Mabel Graham to give you all the facials and permanents and, and whatever else you need to make you look beautiful. Now get your galoshes and come on. Now, Mrs. Windsor, don't you think that's the most lovely frock Faith's ever had on? Well, uh, yes. But there's something about it I just don't like, Maddie. Let me look in the glass. Oh, oh I know what you mean, Mother. Well, what is it, Faith? Well, it's this belt. It's just too low, that's all. That's it? Yes, Maddie, that's what's the matter with that dress. Oh, I see. The belt's too low. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, um... If you don't mind my making a suggestion, Miss Windsor... Why, of course not, Maddie. Go right ahead. Well, if, if I put that belt up any higher, it's going to be just exactly like the dress Ella Mary Blitz is going to wear for the contest, too. What? You mean, you mean that Ella Mary is going into the beauty contest? Well, well I, I don't like to carry tales, none, but... Maddie uh, Clark, you come right out with it. Is Marsha Blitz putting that ugly duckling of hers into the post-Bugle's beauty contest? Well, uh, yes, yes, she is, but... 
I hope you don't think I had anything to do with it. Well, Marsha Bliss got a lot to do. That's oh. all I've got to say. Oh. Well, Faith Windsor, what in the world's the matter with you? Oh, that's what all are you laughing at? funny, Mother. Well, what's funny about it? I know why Ella Mary's going into the beauty contest. Well, why, for goodness sake? It certainly can't be because she thinks she'll win it. No, of course not. She couldn't win the contest. It's because Ella Mary's sweet on Chick Harper, too. Sweet on Chick Harper, too? What do you mean, too? You don't mean that you've been going around with that boy down at May's Drug Company. Uh, well, I, I think I'd best be getting along, Miss Windsor. If there's anything else you want me to do with the dress, just you let me know. Matt Clark, what's the matter with you now? What's making you so fidgety? Well, I, uh, well, uh, Miss Windsor, you see, uh, I'm one of the judges in the beauty contest. Oh, I? Well, then everything's all right. Well, for a minute, I was afraid there might be a chance that Ella Mary Bliss might ease her way into getting the prize in the beauty contest and, and play that part in the pageant. But now that we know that you're one of the judges, Maddie, well, everything will be just fine. Uh, won't it, Maddie? Well, I, I I, hope so, yes. Of course, there are two other judges. Uh, oh, yes, uh, Dr. Adams and Chief of Police Benson. But when a woman is on a committee with two men, Maddie, the woman generally has her way. I know. Yes. Uh, well, uh, thank you, Miss Windsor. I, uh, I'll best be getting down to my shop. Uh, don't forget, if there's anything else you want done, just let me know. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, all right, Maddie. Good afternoon. Uh, goodbye, Miss Windsor. Goodbye, Faye. Goodbye. goodbye. Hmm. What's the matter, Mother? Something tells me not to trust Maddie Clark's powers of persuasion. I think we'd better go down to the Daisy May Beauty Salon and have Mabel Graham give you a going over. Uh, get your galoshes and come on. How do you do, Mrs. Bliss? How to do? Hello, Ella Mary. Hello. Well, Faith, sit down. Yes, Mother. Oh, well, quite a crowd. Hello, Mabel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, who's first? Well, well, we 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 hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't be as popular as all that. Who walked through that door first, ladies? Well, if I'm not mistaken, I'm quite sure that Ella Mary and me was here first. Is that right, Mrs. Windsor? Uh, well, um, I suppose it is. Okay, then. Come on in, Mrs. Bliss. Oh, but it ain't for me. It's Ella Mary I want you to take care of. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, all right. Not that she needs taken care of as bad as some other people in this town I know of. <clears throat> uh, well, uh, come right in, Ella Mary, and, uh... Faith, I'll be with you in just a little while. All right, Mabel. I, um... Uh... I suppose you've noticed that Editor Day is running a contest for the most beautiful girl in Cedarton, Miss Windsor. Uh, oh, yes. Um, I've noticed. And my Ella Mary is getting all fixed up so she can win it. Mm, is that so? Isn't that nice? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ain't it? Too bad Faith ain't going into the contest, too. Mm, oh, but she is going into the contest. And Faith's going to get all fixed up so she can win it. Oh, is that so? Mm. Well, ain't that nice? Uh, yes. Uh, ain't it? <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Matty Clark, Phil Benson, the three of us have been sitting here for two hours trying to avoid coming to any decision about who's going to win this contest. And I'm so tired, I want to go home. Well, Doc Adams, you got my vote and you got Miss Clark's vote. Why don't you decide one way or the other and make the announcement to the folks who are waiting outside and then we can all go home? Yes, Phil, that sounds very easy. Maddie Clark here is voting for Faith Windsor because Judge Windsor pays her a lot of money for making clothes for his wife and daughter. Why, Dr. Adams? It's the truth, Maddie, and you but, might as well admit it. Well... And you, Bill Benson, you're voting for Ella Mary Bliss because you think Rip Bliss is going to be the next mayor this time. Well, and you don't want to lose your job. Oh, now, listen, and Doctor... that's the truth, too. Well, well, now, well. you're both trying to save your faces by letting me decide between those two girls. Well... Just suppose I decide to vote for neither one of those girls. Why, Dr. What? You don't think I could, huh? Why, Doc, you know there ain't another girl in Cedarton could win this contest except uh, Ella Mary Bliss or Faith Winter. Oh, isn't there? Well, I know. Everybody in town knows it's between them two. Oh, is it? Well, just suppose I'd write another name on a piece of paper here, what? leaving Ella Mary and Faith out of it. Wouldn't you both sort of fall for the idea? Oh, my golly, Doc, yes. Oh, Dr. Adams, we're in an awful fix. Do you think you can figure some way to get us out of it? Fix? <laughs> yes, an Amos Day put us into it. 
Uh, beauty contest in a town the size of Cedarton, or any town for that matter. Come on, come on, Doc. What's your idea? Well, I'll write a name down here on this slip of paper. If you agree with my suggestion, all you have to do is say aye, and then I'll go out and make the announcement. Oh, Dr. Adams, go ahead. Yeah, hurry up, Doc, hurry up. We'll be mobbed if we don't get out there and make the announcement pretty quick. Very well. Uh, now, how's that? Oh, well, why didn't I think of that? Well, yeah, yeah, Doc. That's it. <laughs> well, they're all agreed then, huh? Eh? Oh, I should say so. The decision of the committee is unanimous. Oh, oh, yeah. unanimous. All right, I'll go out and tell the folks. By golly, Doc, that's great. You're one in a million, as the feller says. What feller? <laughs> oh, well, I mean... The, the, Never mind. Come on and stay with me. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of Cedarton... The post-bugle beauty contest committee has arrived at a decision. The the decision, I might add, is unanimous. Your committee has decided to award the prize of the most beautiful girl in Cedarton and the girl who will play the leading part in the first annual Cedarton Festival and historic pageant to... Uh, qu- quiet, please, quiet! The prize will go to Miss Mabel Graham. <laughs> Ladies, just a minute. I want you to look at three young ladies out there in the audience. Why? What do you mean? Look, over there, Ella Mary Bliss and Faith Windsor throwing their arms around Mabel Graham, tickled to death she won the prize, knowing full well that if either one of them had won it, they'd never have spoken to each other again. Well, goodness gracious. Oh, Dr. Adams, I do believe you're right. What is beauty, anyhow? They're all beautiful and lovely and, and sweet, every one of them. Let's not spoil them. What do you say, ladies? Is the decision unanimous? Oh, yes, yes. Absolutely unanimous. Oh, yes, Dr. Adams. Well, let's go on down and congratulate the Queen of Cedarton, Queen Mabel. This is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.